Good evening, Miguel Angel. Welcome. Yeah. Okay, you are the first one, and I am so glad for that. I hope you have enjoyed your your long weekend. Yes. Yes. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So here Three we days. go. <laughs> Three days in a row. Mm -hmm. yes. So let's get started because there are too many things to do. And it is a pleasure to have you here, Edwin. Edwin Esau. Okay, I'm going to rename you. Because, okay, here. Yes. Okay, welcome to the class. Today we have our class number eight. And the day after tomorrow is going to be our class number 10. So you have to uh, take your midterm test, okay? And we're going to be in the 50% of the class. Very soon you're going to be in, in low intermediate. Wow. Okay, that's life. So class, um, let me share my PPT with you, okay? So here we go. Okay, it is loading. Today is September 18th, 2023, correct? And in our agenda, we have the welcoming as every single day. One of you is going to help me reading the objectives as we do every session that we meet here in this virtual classroom. We're going to ask and answer questions about everyday tasks at work. Task is a synonym for duties, activities, or obligations at work, okay? You're going to talk about the schedule activities in a restaurant also. And you will answer questions about the schedule activities in a, in a restaurant and answer comprehension questions based on a schedule, ta on a schedule task in a restaurant. In other words, you're going to focus, you're going to analyze a timetable or a schedule in a restaurant, and you are going to answer comprehension questions to make sure that you understood the information in that schedule. And at the end, I expect that you write five questions on your own, okay? You, you create the sentences and ask them to a classmate. And then, as a reminder, as I told you previously, the presentation, it is necessary that you go over your homeworks and evaluations because today is our session number eight. Very soon, in two days from now on, we're going to be in class number 10, equals the 50% of your module, of your level. Then we go ooh, like this, only to finish in two 12 days more, 12 more classes, you're going to be in another level. You're going to say goodbye to beginner level. And then we have here the requirements that you already know. Thank you, everyone, for uh, writing your names when you connect to the platform. And some of you write when you are listeners, uh, the word uh, oyentes. It is expected that you have the camera on, okay? And you have to minimize the sound. It is about your microphone. It is advisable to have it off because every sound is recorded and obviously active participation, yeah? Because that is the way it works. If you don't speak, when are you going to speak? If you don't write, when are you going to practice your grammar? Also, we have here uh, the information, the reminder for your attendance, okay? The administration, INSAFORP, and me, we expect that you attend classes 100%. That is the expectation. 100 minutes to be connected every day that we meet here for the classes because it is two hours classes. 60 minutes each one equals 120 minutes. Another reminder, the attendance is taken twice, at least, at least at 8 
20 and at least at 940, depending on how the activities are working. Remember that it is taken as effective your attendance with when you activate the microphone and you say, here I am presente, okay, or present. And the camera must be on according to the requirements. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me in order to develop the one-on-one -on -one session, okay? 10 minutes. And as I have to tell you again that permissions are not allowed. I don't have the authority to give you a permission to skip classes, neither the administration. So that is, uh, if you are absent by any reason, you need to get in touch to communicate with the administration and let them know they are going to take note and they are going to inform to ENSAFARP. And then here we have that this is the expectation, everybody with the cameras on, the microphone off, camera on, the two chats available for every single day via WhatsApp and via Zoom. The breakout rooms will be available for you to practice in small groups. The bottom ask for help uh, when you are working in the breakout rooms will be also available and as everything that happens in class in here, respect above all, okay? Everyone needs to be respectful with others. And here we are in week number two, as I was telling you, okay? Because we're going, we expect to finish section two and week number two on September the 20th. And today is September 18th. So today's more, and we're going to be over these two sections. And I need you to have completed homeworks for section one, homeworks for section two, and the midterm test by September the 20th, okay? And then we will go over section three. Comments, questions about it? If you don't have any comment or suggestion, I need one of you to help me reading the objectives, okay? Who's going to be that volunteer? I need one of you to help me. Okay, Miguel Angel, please be my guest. Okay, objectives, general objectives. Participants will talk about everyday tasks. Specific objectives. Participants will be able to read collective schedule showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant. Class objective. At the end on the of the class, participants will ask and tell information related relate to everyday tasks at my, my workplace. workplace. Very well. Excellent. So this is what I... In other words, uh, what I was telling you about, yeah, the, about the agenda. So here we go. Asking and answering information about everyday tasks at work. The purpose of this activity class is that you ask and answer information about your everyday tasks at work. The instructions are the following. Listen to the instructions. You're going to work as a group. Okay, in groups, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. You will ask and answer the questions in exercise one, page 23, which is this one. In the case that you are commuting, I'm going to share this slide via WhatsApp so you can have it. And here we go. I'm going to share that slide via WhatsApp. Yes, this is your group. Okay, there you are, and which are, okay, in your, okay, over here, you are going to ask this, there are two questions that you are going to ask and answer. One student asks the question, the other student answers the question. What? The estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace. What is 
it is missing the word is. What is the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? Mm, seven hours, eight hours, four hours, nine hours, 12 hours, 10 hours. I don't know because it depends on the contract, on the individual contract and also on the company. Yeah. And does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? Yes, everybody. Oh, the company is closed at 7 p.m. at 6 p.m. I don't know or no, we rotate the shifts, okay? Or no, I have a, my special schedule and other co-workers have different schedules. It depends, yeah, on the, on the activity that you do. Now, class, I ask you, are the instructions clear about this activity that you are going to be developing right now in the breakout rooms? Is it clear what you are going to do? It's all clear. It's okay, now let's go to the breakout rooms and I'm going to ask you to join because I'm going to ask right now the platform. Let me see how many. Okay. I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Remember asking and answering actively. You don't have to write no. It is only speaking, a speaking activity. Here we go. Join your groups, please. If you are so nice, join your groups. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, Miguel Angel, Rosalie Yvonne, and Edwin, I suggest you to join the different groups so you can get your minutes of attendance, okay? Thank you. See you later. Las dos preguntas que mandó, que mandó el chat. Uh, in my case, in my case, uh, eight, eight hours. Eight hours. Seven day of two, two, Four, four air in my case. In my case, in my case is um. Uh, Ten hours. Ten hours. I don't know. It's ten. Uh, from uh, seven a seven a.m. to five a.m. five p.m. Okay. And uh, I rest uh, one hour from twelve to. 1 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. You won't. You know, it's not a Sí, ahorita me acabo de conectar, pero no, todavía no, no he visto la, la imagen. Deme un momentito porque yo no, no lo he hecho todavía. Ok. La pregunta dice, what the what is the main time? The main time? An employee uh, work, a day in the work. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Mm.
be work a day in your workplace. In my work, normally is uh, 44 hour, hour, hours a week and eight hours a day. Okay. And does everybody have a specific schedule to follow? That depends on the work area. But for example, in my area is um it's a fijo area or area fijo. Um big but the other is not fijo. So you say okay. I, I have the same schedule every day, but the other partners they have a Rotating shift, yes? Yes, yes. Okay, very well. Oh, very well. Okay. Out of the Okay, okay. Hola, ¿se me escucha? Yes, Hello. yes. Ok, Hello. entonces ya estamos preparados para comenzar a preguntar. Yes. Ok, entonces yo le pregunto a usted, Carlos. Eh, Carlos, what a, what the estimate, estimate? Time, así se pronuncia, estimate. Estimated, estimated time. Estimated time, okay. Carlos, what the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? Does every everybody have a, spe a specific cash holes to follow? The estimated time is eight hours. When it is a formal job, there is a issue to follow and it can be flexi flexible. Okay. Okay, Reina. What is the estimated time an employee works per day and their workplace? Uh, the estimated time that an um, employee works is nine hours in a day. They are usually to work schedule. And the first from 7 a.m. to 2 4 p.m. In the case of workers who live far away, uh, uh -huh, and, and do twos, no sé si se pronuncia así, twos. Those who live nearby from a a a a a a m to five p m. Those who live, those who live, okay. Those, 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 those who, live. who live, okay. Thank you. <laughs> a hours or nine hours, Reina. Nine hours, usually. Nine. Ah, uh, es que. <laughs> but probably they don't go to work on Saturday. That is why. Yes. Or oh, or yes, Reina. Do you? No. No people 40, don't go to work on 40 Saturday. Forty hours. Forty hours in the week and. Yeah, no, no, no. forty hours uh, in the week. But, uh, but there is a deep lunch time. Uh, how long does uh -huh. it take uh, an employee for a lunch? Yes. One hour or two hours? Uh, one. Only one, one hour. hour. So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so in the company, uh, people stay for eight 
hours uh, working, but one hour for lunch. So they yes. stay nine hours. Yes, yes. Okay, great. Next. That, that time is not counted. Lunch. It doesn't count. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't count, but she is counting because she has lunch at work. But if mm -hmm. you go out to have lunch, because probably they work from from eight to to twelve o'clock, yeah. And from imagine from one to five, the other or from two to no, from one to four should be right. Plus the lunch time, nine hours. But they count it like that. Okay, Maybe. continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Evening and Miguel. Hello, Evelyn. Are you there? Evelyn, are you there? Not not. Somebody there at Evelyn's microphone. Are you available? Ah, no, she's a listener. She says, okay, so maybe Reina and Carlos, you ask the questions to Miguel Angel. Okay, Miguel. Yes. Uh -huh. What is the estimate time an employee works per day at their Hello, class. Did you finish the activity? Asking and answering. Hi, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Hey, this girl is having problems. Maybe her internet. Yes. Let me see, maybe she is here. No, this is cutting. But anyways. Okay, class, thanks. Now let's return to the main session room. Thanks for your active participation, okay? Okay, I'm going to call your name so I can take your... Ah, Miss Carla, finally. Probably you were having problems with the internet connectivity, Carla. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hello. just in time, welcome. Oh. Andrea, Chris... okay. Ana Cristina, sorry. Ana Cristina is here. Ana Cristina, one. Ana Cristina, two. Ana Cristina, three. Andre. Andre is not here. Araceli Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Good evening, present. Thank you, Dani. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Okay. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Daisy. Edwin Esaú. Thank you, Edwin. Elis, eh, Carla Minero. Ok. Thank you, Carla. Evelyn Yamilet Molina. Evelyn. Gil Yvonne Menjibar. Present. Thank you. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Present teacher. Ok. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni Rivas Rivera. We don't yes, listen. Okay, thank you. I thought you had problems with the microphone. Jennifer Beatriz. Jennifer Beatriz is absent today. Juan Eduardo Flores. Thank you, Juan. Catherine Beatriz Rivas Ventura. Present teacher. Thank you. Katia Maria de Leon Elias. Present teacher. Thank you, Katy. Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. Miguel Angel Present Santos. Teacher. Thank you, sir. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Noé. Hello, good evening, teacher. Thank you, welcome. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez is absent. Oscar Humberto absent. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Thank you so much, Miss. Rosalí Ivonne Quintanilla. Rosalí Ivonne. She is not here. Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia is not here. Maritza. Okay, Maritza. Susan Carolina. Susana Carolina, not yet. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Okay, class, now that we went over the first step for today in the okay in the activities asking and answering these questions okay here asking and answering the questions in exercise number one okay that was the preview for our next activity and here we go mm -hmm. let me see okay we continue and then we have here, class, what you are going to do is the following. You're going to be practicing a conversation, asking and answering information about everyday tasks at work. The purpose is that all of you practice a conversation, asking and answering information about everyday tasks at a restaurant. The instructions are, as a class, let's work at page 23. Everybody, please turn your... Uh, manuals at page 23 you listen to your teacher read the conversation and later you volunteer to read the conversation in the main session room to model it for the class when you finish okay practicing the conversation two of you are going to model the conversation in the main session room you practice the conversation in pairs in the breakout rooms and answer the questions considering the information given in the conversation, okay? So here we go, and I'm going to share the conversation in the manual. Here, the conversation is kind of short, but it is between Ben and Matthew. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? How's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic you know you're right look who has the early and late shifts for this coming weekend 
according to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Once again. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this morning weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift, okay? Two volunteers to read the conversation. Two participants. Thank you, Miguel Angel. You're going to read Matthew. I need somebody to read Ben. Who is going Me. to read Ben? Me. Who? Okay, Henry Giovanni, you are going to read Ben. Let's get started. One, two, three. Go for it, please. Miguel Angel. And Matthew. Uh huh. Uh, Henry, Giovanni, oh, are you ben. ready? Ben, yes. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Continue. Hey, Matthew. How is, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look. Who has early the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and the afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Finish. Switch. Okay. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben, and we leave that everybody is here today because of the traffic to know. You're right. Look, who, who has the early and late shifts for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Thank you. Thank you so much for your participation, Henry and company. And now, class, you are going to be transferred to the breakout room so you can practice the conversation the same as your classmates did. The first time later, you switch roles, okay? You change the roles and you continue with the practice. As soon as you are over, you finish practicing the conversation, you go over this as a group. Look at the schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. Two questions that you have to answer. Who manages the restaurant and who cooks, okay? You need to analyze this uh, timetable or schedule and you answer the two questions. Are the instructions clear? Yes, or? Yes, it's clear. Okay, so right now I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms, okay? So you can be able to practice. And I'm going to ask the platform. Okay. Hmm. Let me see how many people. I'm going to share with you right now the invitation. So open your eyes big. Go to your groups, please, and join and begin practicing. You go over exercises two and three at page 23.
Okay, class, I invite you, the listeners, to join the breakout room so you can obtain the minutes of attendance. See you later. Hola, me escucho. Hola, sí, ya. Ok, entonces comenzamos a practicar. Ok, I am Matthew and you, Ben. Eh, ok. Hey, Matthew, how are you going? Very good, Ben. I'm really that every, everybody in here is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late chip? for this coming weekend according to according um, to a sketch lab mark no I, yo creo que according me corresponde a mí ah okay okay uh, according to the sketch mark and sophie have to morning and afternoon shift and tom and kate have to evening shift Hey, okay. hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, then. I am relieved that everyone, everybody is here today because of traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has a really late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift and Tony and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, thank you. Thank you. The, the other partner, van a practicar? Yes, I'm ready. ¿Quién más está? ¿Hay alguien aquí con vida? Hay seis, cinco hay. Está Eduardo, Miguel, Reina. Yes, Susan. Ah, Susan, but she's a listener. listener. Okay. So your choices are Miguel Ángel. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Hi, Matthew. How is it going? Uh, very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right, look. You're right, look. Who, are the, who has the early and last shift for this coming weekend? Oh. Oh. According to the schedule, Mark, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Sweet roll. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I believe that everybody is here today because of the traffic. Do you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late, and late shift for the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, thank you. Did you switch roles? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, teacher. now you have to analyze the schedule. Okay, the timetable. The answer the two questions in exercise number three. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Oh, okay. 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 La parte 3. 
¿Quién Sí. maneja el restaurante? Sería who, who manage the restaurant. Ma uh -huh. Eh, ¿Qué quiere conmigo? Vaya. Uh, hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, then. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the yeah. early and late for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late? for the coming weekend. According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Mark. Okay. if you want to, to practice with Daisy again. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, answer, answer the question. Yes. Uh, okay, Daisy is okay. <laughs> okay. 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 If you want to practice, we will answer more questions. Okay. Same. Oh, okay. Hey, Matthew. How is it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift of the coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift. And Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Very good, baby. Hello, class. Did you finish the practice of the conversation? Yes. Did you switch yes. roles? Yes. 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 And uh, are you ready with the answers for? The questions in exercise three, question one and question two? Yes. Uh, no, no. Okay, analyze the schedule for that restaurant and answer questions number one and two, okay? Mm. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, thank you. Who manage the restaurant? Who cooks? Hello, class. Are you done with the two activities? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. You, everybody practice the conversation and you switch roles. Yes? Yes, yes. Teacher. Did you answer question number one and question number two? Yes. Based on the schedule for the employees in the restaurant. Not yet. You are working on that. Yes? We or are you ready? Hello, Carla? We did it. Ah, you're ready for that. Okay. So let's return and let's discuss. Thank you so much for letting me know. Here we go.
Very well, class. Here we go. Okay, Guillermo, you are going to be, you're going to read Matthew and let me see. Carla, you're going to read Ben, okay? Here we go. Let's begin. Um, okay, right now. Hey, Matthew. How it is, is it going? Microphone. Very, very good, Ben. I am relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Thank you so much. Very well. Now, that is what you were practicing in the breakout rooms and you switched roles. But also, I ask you to go over exercise number three. Look at the schedule at a restaurant and answer the following questions. Number one, who manages the restaurant and who cooks? Here we have the schedule, 10 a.m. So it means that that is the time when they must be, the employees have to be at their workplace, at the restaurant. Then we have 11 a.m., noon or 12 sharp, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., and 10 p.m. In other words, they close the doors for rest for the customers at 10 p.m. But we have here cashier, the different job positions, cashier, cook, manager, order taker, the order taker, and the waiter. We have a uh, uh, cashier is Kimberly Thompson and Pamela Diaz, Dries, Pamela Dries. Also, we have as a cashier, uh, Cynthia Lill and Karen Wilkins. Cook, Kevin Dolly, Karen Dolly, Matthew Luz and Linda Harris. The manager, Jennifer Rodriguez. Order taker, Jorge Milano, Mario Milano, Carlos Guardian, Gustavo Guandique. And the waiter, Walter Omo, Haley Duke, Duque, Matthew Tull, and Oscar Sagrario. Now, according to this information class, for the question, who manages the restaurant? The answer is, who manages? Jennifer Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. Okay. And who cooks? Kevin, Karen, Matthew, and Linda. So they have four chefs. Yes. Four cooks. Excellent. And if you notice, they have different employees, at least four. Yes. For the different positions. Only manager is one. Yeah. There is only one manager. Now that we know about this, let's move at page 24, class, and here. Let's go over exercise number four. You read the schedule again. You get back over here, yes? And you are going to answer these questions. Who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? And what does Matthew do? Okay, you are going to answer this for questions. Okay, but my question is, do you feel more comfortable analyzing this schedule and answering these questions here in the main session room or in the breakout rooms? Okay. Would you like to work here individually or in the breakout rooms? Okay, individually, go for it. I'm going to keep here the, the okay. And if uh, somebody doesn't have at the moment available the, okay, the information, I'm going to share it with you. Here, I'm going to share the schedule via WhatsApp 
so you can have it in there, yeah. And also, I think I have uh, the other questions. Over here, yes, here they are. So you have the schedule at the restaurant and the questions you have to answer here via WhatsApp. So there is no excuse. And here we go. As soon as you finish, you let me know so we double check in general. finished uh, teacher okay thank you so much so we're going to give two more minutes to the rest of the class so we can standardize the answers thank you mr abrego i finished teacher thank you miss katia I think you finished, teacher. Great, thank you for telling me. One more minute for the others. Okay, class ready? Here we go. I'm going to ask you the questions and you tell me the answers, okay? So for question number one, 
who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift? The answer is... Hello. Uh, the answer I think is... the answer is... Walter Olmo and Matthew Chule. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, Walter yeah. Olmos and the other name, say it again, please. Matthew Chule. Matthew, like this? Let me check the name. Uh, Matthew Tool. T U L L E full stop. Okay. So if I ask you who is in charge of waiting tables in the morning shift, Walter Almost and Matthew Tool. Now, class, question number two. Who is in charge of managing the restaurant? Jennifer Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Jennifer Rodriguez. This is okay. No problem. Because the answer is objectively uh, direct. But you may also say, in order to sound higher level of English, Jennifer Rodriguez is. Okay? Jennifer Rodriguez is. Next uh, answer for the next question. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Kevin and Karen Dolly. Kevin and Karen with C or K. How is it spelled here with K? Karen will be. Ah, Kevin Dolly. Kevin Dolly and Karen. And Karen Dolly. So probably they are brothers or relatives, right? Because of the last name. Okay. Next one. Number four. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? The Jorge, answer is... Okay, Jorge. Jorge. Carlos, and Carlos Guardian. Jorge and Carlos Guardian. But Jorge's last name is Milano. Jorge Milano. Milano and Carlos Guardian. Very well. Now I'm going to ask one of you. Let me see. Let me check. Someone who is not a listener today. Maybe let's see. Daniel Ernesto, ask Hi. question number one to one of your classmates. You choose the victim. You choose the name of the partner. And he or she has to answer question number one. Okay? Read the question, Daniel. Escoja alguien. You read the question and you say okay. the name of the person who is going to answer. Okay. Carla mm -hmm. Mireno, Minero. Okay. The number five, what does no, Matthew No, number one, number one in order. Mm -hmm. Who is and the chair of waiting tables in the morning shift? Walter Olmos and Matthew. Sure. Okay, thank you so much. Very well done. That is the way you have to do it. Now we move to question number two. Uh, Daisy Carolina. Daisy, are you there? Daisy. No, no she's okay. You read question number two, but you say the name of the classmate that is going to answer question number two. Mm. Read question number two, Daisy. Okay. Who is who is in charge of money? Managing the restaurant. Okay, now tell me the name of the classmate that is going to answer. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni, the answer is for number two. 
Henry Giovanni, are you there? No, he's not. Daisy, say the, the name of another classmate. Oscar Eduardo. Mm, I don't know. Oscar Eduardo, are you here? Or oh, there? Maybe. Not here, but there. Are you there? No, he's not. Say another name, Reina. Um, I'm sorry, Daisy. I was reading here. David Emanuel. David Emanuel, are you available? Yes, I, okay. I am here. Please answer question number two. Read the answer for question number two. Managing of the restaurant is Jennifer Rodriguez. Okay, thank you. Now let's see. Catherine Beatriz, are you here in my class? Yeah. Okay, Catherine. Read question number three and choose the classmate that is going to answer. Okay. Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning shift? Um, Jilly Bone. Okay. Read the answer, Miss. Number four. Number three. 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 Who is in charge of the kitchen in the morning chip? You have to answer. You don't have to read the question. Are you in okay. class? Okay. Kevin Dooley and Karen Dooley. Okay, thank you. That's the way it is. Um, Edwin, Esau, are you available? Edwin, Esau, no, he's not available. Maybe, let's see. Sonia Esmeralda. Sonia, Hola. okay, Hola. Sonia. Read question number four, Sonia. Okay. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? The question goes to. Who is going to answer? Say the name of the classmate. Um, uh, Guillermo Eduardo. Okay, uh, what does Matthew do? He, let me see. He's waiting tables. What does Matthew do for him? Mm -hmm. He is a waiter. Yes, he is a waiter. What does Matthew do? He is a waiter. And now, class, what are you going to do right now here? This is a work that you have to do first individually. Why? Because the instruction goes like this. Write five questions on your own. It means individually. You have to think about those five questions and construct them. Write them. Write in time. When you have the questions, you are going to ask, the questions to a classmate in the breakout rooms. Five questions. For example, if I say, I'm going to interview my victim is 
Mr. Abrego. Okay, because I see you. Okay, I'm going to build my first question for you, sir. Uh, what do you do? What do you do? Oui. Okay, mister, what do you do? What is the answer to that question, Mr. Guillermo Eduardo? Ay. Okay. Mm. Okay, I am a customer service representative. Okay, that is my question for him. I created that question and he answered my question. And then I say, who is in charge, for example, in charge of opening the office? Okay, this is for you, Mr. Abrego. Who is in charge of opening the office? Obviously at your workplace, yes? Mm-hmm. Um, is the I know the security man of the company? Okay, there is a security man in charge of opening the office, or a security man or a security guard. Yes, and for example, if I say, "Who is in charge of customer service?" Uh -huh. Guillermo, who is in charge of customer service? Mm, but you are talking about the like the department? In general, who is in charge of customer service? You say me. I okay. am in charge because that is what you do. Yes? Okay. Yeah, well, it's me and my coworkers. Okay, excellent, great. And then you continue building some other questions. Yes, for example, uh, who um who cleans the office? Yes, or here. Uh, actually, the phrase is "who is in charge." What we practice, yeah, or who is in charge of uh supervise you yes and then you say the name of the person or for example who is in charge of preparing the schedules in your office or in your company you use your creativity in order to build the questions okay or are you in charge of uh, checking emails do you write reports no i don't Okay, so use your creativity about tasks or activities that people do at work. When you have your five questions, then we are going to be transferred to the breakout rooms in order to ask and answer the questions as I was doing with Mr. Abrego. Okay, are the instructions clear? Yes, it's Okay, go ahead and here you have the instruction. Write five questions on your own, your creativity, and ask them to a classmate, okay? When you are ready with your questions, you tell me, okay? Please.
Ah, Giovanni, you are back. That's good. Finish the job. Thank you so much, sir, for telling me. We're going to wait for the other partners so you can interact in the breakout rooms, okay? Finish teacher. Thank you, Edward. Let's wait for the other partners. Okay.
Okay, class, the rest of the class, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to uh, start interviewing our classmates, yes? In their breakout rooms. And here we go. I'm going to transfer you. Remember asking and answering, yeah? Ah, I, I sent you the invitations, okay? Oscar Eduardo, I sent you the invitation. Noe, go to group number two, please. And Henry Giovanni, please go to group number three. Mm, yes, number three. Join your groups, the rest of the people, and begin the practice. Ah, ¿quién, quién me okay. eh, who is the chart, the managing, todas esas, okay. 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 Escucho. Entonces, ¿te gusta empieza usted? Okay. My question. Um, what is your work schedule? Uh, number two. Who is? No, Miss. No, 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 no. You ask the question and you wait for his answer. He has to answer that question. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is your... Uh... Bueno, entonces sería... No, pero... that's okay. What, you... uh -huh. what is your work schedule? Uh -huh. uh... And he answers. Wait. He has to answer the uh -huh. question. Okay. Answer in question. Okay, teacher. Yes. Answering, asking and answering the questions. Okay. And then when he... Uh, Yvonne, when he answers the question... You ask question number two, he answers to you. Question number three, you, ask, you wait for the answer, he answers, you go over question four. When he finishes answering your question four, then you ask question number five. When he finishes answering the question number five, he's going to ask you his questions to you, different questions, okay? Because the questions are individual. They are not the same questions. So, begin, please. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. What is your work schedule? The client. Okay. What is the start time for work? Repeat again, please. What is the start time for work? The spare yes. time. The, your free the time. Start. A spare time or free time at work? In my free time. Yes, at work. Uh, what is the start time for work? What is the hora de inicio del trabajo? Ah, oh. start. A start. Mm -hmm. I heard the spear. Okay. okay. What time do you start? Started. Working? It started. Mm -hmm. Started. Okay. Um. Sorry. Who is in Who is in charge of warehouse? Ah, warehouse. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, no, and Luisa, 
Luisa Hernández is. Okay, I finished my, my question. Okay. Um, okay. Um, who is in change of your department? Jorge Salazar is. The. Supervisor of the supermarket, the uh, marketing. Marixa, uh, who is in charge of organizing the party, the party? Mm. Is the Repeat, please. Okay. Who is in charge of organizing the party? Who is in charge of organizing the parties or celebrations? Is that okay, Carlos? Okay. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. We all do it. Okay, next question. Hey, Carla. Yes. Who is in charge of the meeting? Um, I am in charge of the meeting. Um, Carlos, who is in charge of production? If he... And we turn it, the answering. For example, two people answering the call in the morning and another two people, and, see, and another two people answer the call in the afternoon. And the next day, I... and the next day, that the people answering in the yesterday in the afternoon, they, they are responsible for answering the call in, in the morning. Are different uh, persons every day? Yeah. No, it's the same. Only working the cells, only four people. For example, okay. uh, another person, for example, you and me answer the call in the morning. And tomorrow, answer the calling in the afternoon. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you switch activities? Yes. Okay, great. Yes. Uh, the next question is, who is in charge of doing the survey? ¿Quién es el encargado de hacer las encuestas? In my world, I... Don't have encuestas. Okay. We don't encuestas. have uh, yes. surveys. We don't have surveys. Okay. I, we don't have surveys. In my case, is a warehouse assistant. <clears throat> warehouse okay. assistant. Who is in charge of making open house express? We don't have this <laughs> in my work. <laughs> yes, it, ah, okay. it, our uh, listen. You works say you say nobody, different. nobody, nobody, <laughs> ah, nobody. Yes. Uh -huh, nobody. nobody. Yeah. Okay. No, okay. <laughs> easy, easy, nobody. <laughs> okay, thank you, teacher. In my job, the respons the responsible is the cashier because oh. uh, he has uh, more time, uh, more. Uh, more free time. Oh, yes. The next question is who is in charge receiving customer? Receiving cost receiving customer. Uh, 
in my world, nothing. Oh, nobody. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nobody. nobody. <laughs> yes, nothing. <laughs> it's... Hey, what happened, nobody? Nadia. Yeah, nobody. What happened? Because yes. there, it doesn't exist. <laughs> yes. In no, my hay nadie quien reciba, no hay nadie quien reciba al cliente. No. Ah, ok. I work uh, the, in my house. I take, uh -huh. I, um, ¿cómo se diría? Eh, teletrabajo, se me ha ido la palabra en, en inglés. Es, home uh, office, home office. Home office, yes. Sorry. I am home office in my work. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you, and, and Danny, what about Daniel? Are you there, Danny? Daniel? I'm here, I am just to come. Really, you already asked yeah. the question? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, very well. And Reina and Susan, they are not... Sí, yo también ya lo ah, ya Ok, great. Ah, you work in pairs. Excellent. Very well. So, let's return to the main session room there. Ok. Here we go. Let's get back. Everybody back? Yes. Okay. Please, class, activate your cameras. I'm going to take the picture. Cameras on. One, two, three. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, say yes, hello, one, two, three. Okay. I hope nobody closed the eyes. Great, great, Ali. I hope you were not like this in the picture, Ali. Okay, let's see, I'm going to, okay. I'm going to share it with you right now, I, so you can see. Yes, this is your group. Okay, there you are. Thank you so much. And now, here we go. Okay, Mr. Eduardo Abrego, ask one question from your list, okay? Ask one question to Daniel Ernesto. From your five questions, ask one question to Daniel Ernesto. Daniel Ernesto, get ready to answer. Okay. Okay. Um, do you attend meetings in your workplace? Every day I attend a meeting at 7.45. A.M. I am. Every I'm... day. Okay. Thank you so much. Great. Now let's see. Uh, Miss Carla ask one question to Miguel Angel. 
um, who is in charge of production at your office? Okay, Miguel Angel. In my work, uh, the production is in charge the sales. The sales department. The sellers. The sellers. Uh, okay, sellers. Yes, yeah, sellers. Okay, great. And now I'm going to ask Carlos Enrique, get ready with one question, please. Carlos. Okay, teacher. Okay, ask one question to Sonia Esmeralda. Okay, Sonia. Who is in charge of closing the office? Um, 5 p.m. Who? The name of the person who closes the office. Who is in charge of closing the, the office at 5 p.m.? Yes. Who would say the name of the person? Um, security. Okay, a security. Thank you. I'm going to ask Noé. Ask one question to Maritza. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, moment, please. Do you do you like? Do you like what you do in your job? Do you like what you do in your job? Yes, no question. Only two possibilities. Yes, I do or no, I don't. <laughs> microphone. <laughs> the microphone. Yes, I do. Are you sure? Everything is recorded, miss. <laughs> Whatever you say is recorded in the video, okay? And it goes to YouTube, remember. Okay, great, excellent. Now I'm going to ask, let's see, maybe... Katia? Hello, Katia, are you there? Yes, teacher. I'm Do you here. have one question, miss? Yes. Yes. Okay, ask the question to Oscar Eduardo Melendez, please. Okay. Oscar, who is in charge of the IT department? Tech support. Tech, tech support. Uh -huh. Who is in charge of tech support in your office, in your company? In my office, the name of, of the person is Estuardo Abrego. Okay, and Oscar Eduardo, you ask one question too. Let me see who is not a listener. Maybe just a few people. Ask the question to Areli, Isabel. Uh, okay. Areli, Isabel, who is in charge of taking orders during, during the morning shift? In your company, Arely. Uh, please. Who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift in your company? Uh, company. Sit. Uh, Am. Repeat the question, Oscar. Okay, who is in charge of taking orders during the morning shift? Did you get it, Arely Isabel? Who is in charge? Who takes the orders in the morning shift in your company? Somebody who takes the orders in your company or nobody? Nobody. Okay, thank you, Arely. Thank you so much, class. Thanks for yes. asking and thanks for the answers, okay? And now, before we go over the next activity, I'm going to call your names the second time to take the second chance attendance. Ana Cristina, are you there? Yes or no? 
Andre is absent. Arely Isabel. Arely. Present. Thank you. Carlos Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Dani Ernesto Membreño Rivas. Present. Great. David Emanuel. Are you there? Here I am. Daisy Caroline. Here. Daisy Carolina. Daisy Carolina de last time. Okay, she's not here. Edwin Esaú. Edwin. Edwin Esaú was here. Okay, you are listener today. Elis, eh, Carla Minero. Miss Carla. Present. Thank you, Miss. Evelyn Jamilet. Evelyn, where are you? Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Jill Yvonne. Present. Here. Guillermo Eduardo. Present, teacher. Okay, great. Henry Giovanni. Henry Giovanni, are you here? Are you there? Yes. Present teacher. Okay, Jennifer, she's absent today. Juan Eduardo. Juan Eduardo Flores. Present teacher. Okay, I was looking for you because I didn't see you. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Catherine. Katia Maria. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Katy. Maritza Elizabeth, where are you, Maritza? Present. Present teacher. Great. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Santos. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Present. Thank you, Oscar Humberto, absent. Reina Elizabeth. Present. Great, Miss. Thank you so much. Uh, Rosalie Yvonne. Rosalie Yvonne is absent today. Sonia Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Thank you. Susan Caroline. Susan. I am listening okay. here. Yes. Uh, Ursula Esteli. Oh, is Ursula. Present teacher. Ay, okay. Present, I present. Okay, great. <laughs> now class, listen, now that you have the information because you were asking and answering questions, let's see what's going on with the next activity. I'm going to show you the manual because it is better for your understanding and my explanation. Look at this, okay? Exercise number six, you have to prepare class a mini presentation about the schedule activities of four or five employees of what they do at your workplace. Create a timetable similar to the one in part three, page 23. Okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six people. It can be two or three, okay? Similar to this one, you create a timetable. In this case here, they, they must be at work at 10 a.m. But in your workplaces, maybe at 7 a.m. or at 8, 8.39, I don't know, depending on your company and your schedule. So you write, uh, for example, at 8 a.m. Here we write Carla, Carla Minero, okay, and your occupation, yes? Carla Minero and another partner who has the same job position. And then here, two other people that have the same job position and probably your boss, your coordinator, your CEO, your manager, I don't know, yes? And then that's it because later on, you're going to explain that to the partners. Is that okay? Does that make sense? Yes? Yes. More or less or not at all? Yes? Okay. Similar to this one, but your name must be there. And other partners according to your shifts, okay? And maybe two or three more if you have enough time. 
uh, positions and the people who perform the activities, okay, in there. So this is individual work. I'm going to give you five minutes and later we're going to interact. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay, great. Thank you, Edwin Esaú. Thank you, Miss Maritza Elisa. Michelle, and thank you, Edwin. Not the same. It's not the same, the question. The no, it is, no, it is not questions. It is a timetable, a schedule that you have to create, okay? With people. With, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, with occupation in my work. Yes, for example, what is your occupation, sir? Sales clerk. Okay, so here you write sales clerk. Sales clerk. Sales clerk. But for a uh, for a many hours. And or then here work. and here you write your name. And the name of other people uh -huh, that are also self clerk, yes, or for people. But here you write the the time that you begin working. Is that okay? And you work, for example, from eight till four or five p.m. or six. I don't know. Yeah. And here, if you have uh, only part-time job, like these people, okay? Because Kimberly Thompson starts working from 10 to 2 p.m. It's 3 and 4, nobody, okay? Because they are uh, cashier. But at 5, from 5 to 9, is Pamela Dries, the cashier. Is that okay? So here, as a sales clerk, you and another partner. If you have the same schedule, no problem. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. That's it. That, that is why it is personal. Because you work in different places, your schedule is different. Yes. And your duties, your obligations also are different from the rest of the class. That is why you are going to work individually. So you take as an example what you have in your manual, okay? Similar to this one, because this is the instruction. Prepare a mini presentation about the scheduled activities four or five employees do at your workplace. Create a timetable similar to this one. Time, this is a timetable or schedule, okay? with the different positions people have at your company. And then you share with the class, with the partners in the breakout rooms. And as soon as you finish, you tell me, okay? Finish teacher. Wow, great. Thank you so much for telling me. And now we're going to wait the other partners, okay? I think great. that in two or three minutes, but get ready to share with the class, okay? Okay, teacher. Uh, pero yo no hice una tabla así, solo escribí los horarios y las funciones de cada quien. Okay, but in you block the nota. okay, that's good. Okay, no problem. Okay. You use your creativity. Remember that this is an example. This is a guide, okay?
somebody else who finished already? Nobody else is done. Not sure. Okay, let's wait a couple of minutes. Let me see. Wells is ready. Finish. Excellent, Miss Edward Flores and Miss Minero. Are you ready? Yes, of course. Okay, here we go. Let's get started with Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego. Would you please share with your partners here? Knock, knock. Okay. Be my guest. Mm, parece que no está habilitada la función, teacher. Really, check out again. I, I already check it. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, well, my table is this one. Uh, customer service from 6 a.m. to uh, 2.30 p.m. And uh, we have here me, Guillermo Abrego, uh, Melanie Abarca, and Alexander Saldaña. And uh, the supervisor in charge from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. is Diego Lopez. I didn't write his name. Okay. And the customer service uh, from 2.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. is in charge of Alex Lopez, Gabriela Mena, and Jennifer Hernandez. And the supervisor in charge from uh, 4.30 p.m. to uh, 12 p.m or midnight, I don't know, is Gerardo Alvarenga. Okay, thanks for sharing. Very well done. And now it's time for Mr. Eduardo Flores. Eduardo Flores. Hello. Okay, it is your time to be the star. Hey, I publish. Okay. You say me that see you? Yeah, uh, you have to um, put it like this. I can clean it un poquito. Uh, it's better, okay? Okay, now we'll read it. Read it because we cannot read. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. uh, in my world, the uh, cashier is the seven seven thirty at eleven thirty. Alexander, the yes. eleven thirty at one p.m. Eduardo, and the uh, one p.m. at five. Alexander, the production sheet 
is the seventh study at 10, Francisco. The 10 at 2 p.m., one. And 2 p.m. at 5, Francisco. The production, Pauline, uh, 7 30 at 10, one. The 10, 10, to, 10 to 2, Alfonso, and 2 at 5, Juan. The order taker, 7 30 at 11.30, Guillermo Braulio en el guardo. The, the 1 p.m. at 5 p.m., Guillermo Eduardo and Braulio. The take service at uh, the 4 to 5, William. The manager is Tomás Guzmán. The waiter, waiter that 7 at 8 a.m., Francisco, Juan, and Alfonso. And 4 30 at 5 p.m. William Guillermo Braulio and Eduardo. Only that. Okay, thank you very well. From 7 to, okay, for example, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, that is the range. Uh, do from we have another to 10. Yeah. Do we have another participant? Uy. Uy. Listen. I have an announcement to tell you. Where is Ursula? Where are you, Miss Ursula Esteli? I'm here, teacher. Okay, Miss. I need you to stay with me uh, after class. Okay. 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 Thank okay. you so much. Now listen, class. Um, I need somebody else because we need to practice. Okay, the schedules. How do we say, for example, from a or eight a.m. from ten a.m. to okay here we have here okay and let's see from eleven a.m. to three thirty probably p.m. the order takers are. Jorge Milano and Carlos Guardian. From to, desde tal hora hasta, okay? I need you just to keep in mind that. And uh, the last favor that I'm going to ask you, class, is to activate your cameras so I can take the last picture of the night in order to confirm for the administration who were here until the last minute of the class, yes? I know you're pretty tired, but this is the last picture and a nice smile because you're going to sleep very nicely. And the teacher and Miss uh, Ursula stays here for more time and you are going to be sleeping as the sleeping beauty. Okay, one, two, three, a nice smile, people. Nice smile. Okay. Kathy, activate the camera. We don't see you. We see black, but we don't see your beautiful face, Miss Katia Maria. Okay, one, two, three. Say yes. Okay, great. Here we go. Okay, class, have a very good night, a nice sleep, and see you next session, okay? I am so happy that you were here. Sleep well, see you tomorrow. Only Miss Ursula stays with the teacher. Have a good See night. Bye bye. See good you night. tomorrow. Good night. Enjoy bye. your dream. Bye bye. Take care. Blessings. Continue working on the platform. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, Miss Ursula Esteli. Bye bye, Rosalie. Bye bye. Only Ursula stays with me. Okay, Ursula. Let's be. And um, here, teacher. Okay. I'm here. Miss, did you finish the activity? Um, the schedule. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Okay. I we'll try. <laughs> okay. Try to share it with me, please. Um. Sure. Uh huh. But I only read if you want to. Speak, okay. Speak, just speak, read it speak. because I need to listen to okay. the pronunciation. Okay. 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 In my in my department department 
uh, we have two customer service. The name is Adrián Arevalo and me, Esteli Gómez. We have an uh, recall, no, remote customer assistant. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Wilmar Pineda. The manager is Jorge Salazar. The, we have three supervisors, Carlos Mejibar, Francisco Bielman, and Marlon Gonzalez. We work during the, the week um, from eight to 5 p.m. And uh, on weekend, uh, the supervisors take turns one uh, a weekend per month. For example, uh, this weekend uh, uh, make make turn uh, Francisco Bielman, next weekend Carlos Mejibar, next weekend Marlon Gonzalez, and they and so have, on. Uh, okay, they yes, take different turns. They take, every um, probably every two or three weekends they work. Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. rotate the shifts. Excellent. Yes, they rotate it. Okay, excellent. So you see, that is why it is important to share with the partners. Okay? Yes. That, it was good. Congratulations. So, mm -hmm. Miss, right now, uh, we're going to practice a little bit reading. Okay? Okay. 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 And here we go. Let's begin with the conversation we practice today. Okay. So I am Ben and you are Matthew, yeah? Okay. Later okay. we switch roles. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know? You're right. Look, who has the early and late shifts for this coming weekends? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, now hey, we Matthew. switch. Hey, Matthew, how is it going? Uh, very good, Ben. I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look. Who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. That's it. Very good. That's then it. we go backwards, and we practice the other conversation that we practice on Thursday. So okay. you are Mr. Moth and I am Jennifer. You begin. Okay. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Moth. I am checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I'm thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Now let's okay. switch. Uh, hello, Jennifer, how's it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies, and I want to know some things. So, Mr. How often do we change the menu? Well, we shall don't change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert sure. every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir. We never do. Okay. Thank you. 
here we have another short conversation between Will and Orson. You start, you read Will and I read Orson. Later we switch. Okay. This kitchen look great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed. But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. Or he does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take she take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Let's switch. This kitchen. This ki okay, you are okay. <laughs> <laughs> this this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of no? We have to switch. No. You start, yes. Uh huh, yes, I was right. Sorry, okay. sorry. <laughs> this kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning, of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a, a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Very well. Let's see the other one. Oh, I hear. Okay. Let's begin by reading the okay. internet article five requirements of the perfect manager. Let's go over okay. number one. Go to, okay. okay. North uh, uh -huh. North No, Be number one, begin. No. Yes, that's it from the topic. Ah. Be a people person? Yes. And Noxol is people, and we are looking for manager who like people. You should be comfortable with conflict resolution. You should know how people work and know how to motivate your them. If you are better with computers than people and understand Klingon better than English, you are not a cool fit. For our managerial Manage, team. managerial team, managerial team, great. Be, no. a, uh -huh. be, uh, be a good communicator. You should be able to communicate effectively using all met methods, including visual presentation, public speaking, email, teleconferencing, and face to face. Good communication is a two-way street. You will be required to routinely update your employees on their and the team's performance. You will communicate any feedback from upper management and customers and provide status information when asked. Okay. Only number three. Be, okay, be technically proficient. The products we create at Noxot are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to call in C number, but you should be able to give technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. And not okay. having watch, not having watch happy feet or the mat, the march of the penguin does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Okay, very well. 
Congratulations, Miss. You did a pretty good job reading. Thank you. And thank you so very much for giving me this extra time okay, in order to practice reading and conversation. And congratulations for the last activity of the class. You did it pretty good, but because time was over, you didn't share with the class. So thank you again. Okay. Have a good night. Continue working on the platform and see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. See you thank tomorrow. you. Nice... My pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a nice night. Sleep tidy. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, teacher.